So why do we find so many Filipinos in Spain? Um, if you go to Barcelona or Madrid, there is a lot of Filipinos. Um, I know London's got a lot, uh, but that's more to do with the medical-related um, industry. But even with the Schengen route, there's a lot of people that have simply not moved on to the UK with the family permits. Many have stayed in Spain. And I want to point something out. Because the Philippines was a former colony of Spain, instead of the five years to become a citizen that you get in the UK, um, places like the Philippines, Uruguay, Argentina, etc., all former colonies of Spain, citizenship can be done in as little as two years. Um, but I've actually bumped into a couple of people that have actually got full citizenship, passport the works, within a year of being in Spain. That's the interesting thing. That's why I think a lot of people come to Spain over going to the UK. Although the, the downside is work is harder to find, but I don't... I don't know. I think in some ways it could be. In other ways, it it's probably not as bad. Because the thing with UK, if you're in the UK, becoming a citizen is an expensive um, venture. But a lot of the people there are arriving on student visas and stuff and have been for long periods of time. Um, or they were there as nurses, etc. In Spain, a lot of people have come in from the similar routes, but <coughs> it's not as brutal as the UK on the way it deals with immigration. Um, there was an American guy that was on about his visa would expire several years ago, but he was expecting to be uh, manhandled at the airport and given some hefty fines, but they just waved him on his way. A lot of the time, they're not bothered. And it's not being negative, but there's no benefit system as such from what I can see um, from a social point of view you have to pay in for eight years to get anything out so there's no upside in coming here this is why this Syrian refugee crisis which I'd say is one third Syrian the rest is everywhere else that wants to go to the UK etc um, they walk on through there's only about 3,800 actually arrived in Spain. The rest just go north. That's why Cali's got 18,000. They're all sat there waiting for a way into the UK. And I think lately it's got a lot more... Um, I tried not to use the word tribal, but it's, um, it's the way people are fighting amongst themselves, even in there with the different communities. You've got the smugglers fighting each other. Um, but there's 18,000 people and they basically formed another town um, within Calais. It's it's not a nice thing to... T it's not a nice place. Um, <coughs> I mean, Calais was never great anyway, being right on the coast there. It's cold. Um, but 18,000 people just turning up and staying there with very little way of making an income or near impossible... It's never a good idea. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of Filipinos in Spain. And a lot of them are going for citizenship, already have gone from citizenship. Um, this is why I know some people are talking about doing the Schengen route and heading here, Portugal, Germany, or whatever. Um, I would say getting work in Spain is quite difficult unless you speak um, Spanish. But the upside? Thousands of words are the same or similar in Cebuano, um, Bisaya. So, learning Spanish for a Filipino from the Visayas region is not as difficult as it seems. When my wife goes to the school and stuff, they are, they're always complimenting how good her Spanish is. But it's actually Bisaya. It's it's all natural. The numbers are the same. The, the days of the week, etc., etc. But even in English, there's a lot of words that are very easily to tr easy to translate if they got things like um, like station i o n uh, it becomes a station you know the, there's a lot of words there's at least a thousand words that you already know on top of that um, the average newspaper which is obviously full of text 
it's only going to have 400, 600 words. And the average vocabulary used on a daily basis is only around 400 to 600 words. So even if you do the conversion of some of these words that are just the changing of like, like station to each station, um, you're looking at the fact that you already know more words in Spanish than you would actually have in your normal English con uh, conversation. Um, purely because of the transferring of going, I understand how that word's made, and that's what it is in English, so I know how to make the Spanish word. So there's a lot of stuff that's um, very, very easy to learn. <coughs> Sometimes they get it wrong, though. Um, it was quite funny this week, because my daughter was asked to bring a carpet for her music lesson. And I was like, a carpet? <laughs> what do you want a carpet for? So we got a roll-up mat. So I thought, well, maybe it's for yoga or, you know, they have some sort of um, music sessions where they do a lot of listening and they just, you know, lay there and listen to it or whatever. What it is, is I think it's e-carpet is actually, or carpeta, one of the two means folder. They're actually after a fold, <laughs> a folder for all the papers for Zoe's music lessons. Um, but they said, I'll oh, get a, can you bring a carpet? And they're like, okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching.